So what caused me to make my own? Well, there I was at Queensland Trade Tools and I was literally about to buy their version of the pallet puller, pallet dismantler, whatever you want to call this tool. And what I didn't like about theirs, theirs was $130 off the shelf and pretty good quality. But what I didn't like about it is you'll notice the angle that I've got here. It's kind of like a, a five degree angle from uh, upright up to that way. The one from Queensland Trade Tours went out here and it literally went out like that. And that seems to be a common uh, design. It really comes out at a much lower angle, if not almost like 45 degrees or something. The problem with that is that, could you imagine having it further down here and then just somewhere here and at this point bending over trying to do this. No thank you. So you'll see just now much much better design having a higher angle there. Okay so here are all my pieces. Alright the plan is get these two little pieces weld that there and weld that there and we will weld it uh, from the top there on that side and underneath this is all pretty robust steel and then we're going to get this piece of pole and we are going to be welding it up on top and that's all I'm going to need first of all these pieces is just cut from this just 12 mil Rio bar this is cut from this and it's a bit more uh, thicker. This is about eight, nine millimeter uh, angle. And I've just cleaned it all up and put some beveled edges on it like that. And this is simply cut from a 45 millimeter diameter pipe. And that's about, I don't know, three mil thick wall. Clean it up. So literally all made out of scrap. Let's get this thing welded together. All right, got it all positioned. It's ready for welding. Okay, we have finished the welding here. Now our next task will be to put on the handle. And I've kind of just notched it out like that. And the plan is just to get it into position and tack it on like that. Rather than it just being a 90 degree angle there, I think what I'm going to do is sort of angle it just a little bit back. I don't know, maybe about three degrees or five degrees. That's probably going to be good. All right, and here we go. So this is what it looks like just after welding and just cleaning it up a little. I'm not that good with welding but uh, I think it's good enough. We'll have to try this out. Okay, we're just going to clean this up a little bit more now. I'm um, going to just clean inside here, just with something like this. Whoops, here we go. Alright, this is all ready and prepped to be painted. I'll be putting on a coat of grey primer. And when this dries, I'll put on some kind of a finishing paint. So this will just help it to stop rusting. And the next coat will be just to make it look pretty. Alright, that's the first coat of grey primer on and it's come up quite nicely actually, I like it. 
but our final colour. So this is what we're going to be putting on, and it's going to be a gloss. Alright, and here we go, the finished product. So, let's lift this up. Actually looks uh, pretty sexy, I reckon. Not bad whatsoever. So, we're going to have to test this out soon. <laughs> Feels good. Nice bit of weight in all of this. So, if you're wondering about dimensions on this, let me just give it to you. I have made this 190 millimeters wide. The pipe I have used here is 48 millimeters diameter. They are 65 millimeters each. And the gap in between is also the same, about 65 millimeters wide. The whole thing from bottom to top is 100 and 85 millimeters and for the handle we'll measure it all the way from the ends and bring it all the way down to where it connects and it's only one meter long that's all it needs to be and this is strong as <laughs> 